Betrayest thou the Son of Man with a kiss? Luke 22, verse 48. The kisses of an enemy are deceitful. Let me be on my guard. When the world puts on a loving face, for it will, if possible, betray me as it did my master with a kiss. Whenever a man is about to stab religion, he usually professes very great reference for it. Let me beware of the sleek face hypocrisy, which is armor bearer to heresy and infidelity, knowing the deceivableness of unrighteousness. Let me be wise as a serpent to detect and avoid the designs of the enemy. The young man void of understanding was LED astray by the kiss of the strange woman. May my soul be so graciously instructed all this day that the much fair speech of the world may have no effect upon me. Holy Spirit, let me not, a poor frail son of man, be betrayed with a kiss. But what if I should be guilty of the same accursed sin? As Judas, that son of perdition, I have been baptized into the name of the Lord Jesus. I am a member of his visible church. I sit at the communion table. All these are so many kisses of my lips. Am I sincere in them if not? I am a base traitor. Do I live in the world as carelessly as others do, and yet make a profession of being a follower of Jesus? Then I must expose religion to ridicule and lead men to speak evil of the holy name by which I am called. Surely if I act thus inconsistently, I am a Judas, and it were better for me that I had never been born. Dear, I hope that I am clear in this matter. Then, O Lord, keep me so. O Lord, make me sincere and true. Preserve me from every false way. Never let me betray my Savior. I do love thee, Jesus, and though I often grieve thee, yet I would desire to abide faithful even unto death. O oh, God forbid that I should be a high, soaring professor, and then fall at last into the lake of fire, because I betrayed my master with a kiss. Now I want you to say this prayer with me. Heavenly Father, as we meditate on the words spoken by Jesus in Luke 22, verse 48, we are reminded of the deceitfulness that lurks behind, the facade of affection, just as Judas betrayed the Son of Man with a kiss. Help us to be vigilant against the subtle deceptions of the world. Grant us discernment, O Lord, to recognize when the world feigns love and reverence for righteousness only to lead us astray from the path of truth. Protect us from the allure of smooth words and flattering gestures that seek to undermine our faith and devotion. To you, forgive us, Lord, if we have ever been guilty of hypocrisy, if our outward profession of faith has not been matched by sincere devotion in our hearts. Help us to live in integrity that our actions may reflect the depth of our commitment to you. We pray, O God, that our lives may bear witness to the sincerity of our love for Jesus Christ. May our lips and our actions align with the truth of your word so that we do not bring reproach upon your holy name. Keep us, Lord, from the path of betrayal from ever turning our backs on our Savior. Strengthen our resolve to walk faithfully in your ways, even in the face of temptation and opposition. May our love for Jesus be steadfast and unwavering. Lord, help us to remain true to him until the end and to never betray him with a kiss. In the name of Jesus, our faithful and true Redeemer, we pray, amen. If you are blessed by this message, type the word Amen in the comments section below. I declare that all the blessings of this prayer are now upon you. And in the name of Jesus, you can help us to reach more persons and spread the gospel.
You can do this by sharing the video with a friend or family member who you know needs the blessing of this prayer and by clicking the like button. Also remember to subscribe to the channel for more videos that will bless your heart and uplift your spirit. We appreciate all those who support us. You're blessed to be a blessing. Please feel free to leave your prayer request in the comments section so that we can present them before God for your blessings and victory. Also, we invite other believers on the YouTube platform and all over the world to join us and start praying for you right now. And we want you to know that even if you don't see a reply to your prayer request, it doesn't mean that you are not prayed for. Rest assured that we are actively lifting up each request to God that is in accordance with His will. We believe in the power of prayer to bring comfort, healing, and guidance in accordance with God's perfect plan. Stand in faith with us while we pray. To God be all the glory. May the grace and peace of our Lord, Jesus Christ, be with you all.